Hello my dear children welcome to the next chapter of English literature chapter 8 chips by Deb Scout Lovick Introduction This is a story of a small family who lived in a far away country Their country was at war and they had very little food to eat. It's then where they discovered how to make chips from the potatoes given by the foreign soldiers. So here's the story children. Once upon a time in a big far away country there lived a small family the country was at war and there was very little food for the people so the poor family always went hungry so what do you understand by these lines that once upon a time in a far away country there lived a very small family okay and the whole country was having war So during the war what happens everything is closed there is nothing they could not get anything and they had very little food for themselves too and always it happened that because they were poor they were always left hungry nobody bothered about giving them any food one day early in the morning two foreign soldiers a part of the army had occupied their country knocked on the door they pushed the sack into mother's hands and asked her to make chips for their lunch so what happened one day in the morning early in the morning two foreign soldiers okay a part of the army had occupied their country means when two countries are having war Okay the country that wins they send the army to control and rule the other country means the country that is lost they are ruled by the army of the country who have won all right so these two uh, foreign soldiers they knocked at their door and they gave the mother a huge sack of potatoes and asked her to make chips for them for their lunch we will be back at 12 noon said the dark head soldier have the chips ready by then and with that the soldiers turned around and headed off towards the neighboring farm so these two soldiers when they gave the sack of potatoes to the mother they told her that they will return back at 12 o'clock now why would they return back at 12 o'clock because they had given her the sack of potatoes for the her to make the chips so they told the mother that by 12 o'clock we will return back so keep the chips ready and after that they turned off and went to the neighboring farm by this time the entire family came scurrying down the stairs to see what was happening what are chips mother asked them but no one had ever heard of such a thing now what happened that once all these the fellows came these uh, soldiers came to the house and all everyone got scared okay so they all came running down the stairs to see what was happening so the meaning of scurrying means moving quickly with short and quick steps before because of fear means they were scared and they were taking quick steps to see what was happening So what did mother say mother said what are chips but do you think did they know what are chips none of them knew what is the meaning of chips 
because they had never ever heard of such a word. How are we going to make chips? cried mother. We don't even know what are they. Shouldn't we reopen the sack first? The children pointed out. So what was the mother's reactions? Once she received the sack of potatoes, she got worried because she did not know how to make chips. She said, how are we going to make chips? We don't even know what they look like or what they are. So what did the children say? Mama, why don't we first see what is inside the sack? Come on, let's open the sack and see what's inside. Mother hurriedly opened up the sack to reveal big, muddy, white, fleshy new potatoes. The family gasped in amazement. Now, mother, she quickly opened up the sack. And what did she find in the, inside the sack? She found big, huge, white, fleshy potatoes. Okay, so after seeing the potatoes, the family gasped in amazement. Means that there was a sigh of relief when they saw the potatoes. They had not seen so many potatoes since the beginning of the war. So since the war had started children, everything was locked. Everything was closed. So they were unable to get anything. So they had not even seen potatoes for such a long time. After so long, after so many days, they saw a huge sack of potatoes and were very excited. Now grandma spoke up. Don't be silly, she said. We know how to cook potatoes. We will peel them and boil them for the soldiers. So then comes the grandma and she said, Don't be silly. Don't be stupid. Don't we know how to cook potatoes? So she said, it's so easy. What we will do is we will peel them and we will boil them for the soldiers. You know what is the meaning of peel? Yes, to remove the skin. Then we will make a soup from the peelings for ourselves. Come on children, let's begin. So then what the grandmother said? That from the peels, the leftover peels, we will make a soup. So she told the children, come on children, let's begin our work and start peeling the potatoes. She gave each child a handful of potatoes to wash and peel. When it was done, she built a fire in the grate and hung a big cooking pot over the flames. So what she did, what did grandmother do? She gave the children a handful of potatoes and she told them to wash and peel it. While what she did, she hung a big cooking pot. Do you know what is a cooking pot? Yes, a big utensil. She put up a big utensil over the flames. Can you see the picture over here? Yes, the meaning of great means a fireplace. Then she poured in fresh water and chopped potatoes. The whole family sat around the open fire watching the water bubble and boil. So then what grandma did? Grandma, she filled the pot up with fresh water and she put in the chopped potatoes. And after that, all of them, the entire family, they sat around the fire and watching the water boiling and all the bubbles coming out. So this is how they were watching the potatoes being boiled. Thank you children. With this I come to the end of the first part of this story. Okay, we will do it till here for today. And in the next week we will continue with the next part of the story. Thank you children. You will be getting some work to do. So you complete your work and you send all your work to me on my WhatsApp. And if you are facing any problem, any difficulty, then we will be discussing this in our 
daily classes. Thank you once again.